Hello everyone, this is JK. In this video, we will see how we can push a Huawei access switch backup configuration to a new switch. So first we need to backup the configuration. You can use this command to backup the configuration to your TFTP server. For this video, I am using a Huawei 5735 switch. So, I already configured one switch for the basic configuration and I need to push this configuration to all the switches. So, this is the first time I am working with the Huawei. So, I power up the switch, then I connect the console. For checking the connectivity, I am just installing one SFP. It's connected to my switch and I'm connecting my laptop to the port number 48. In this switch, port number 1 is here, 2, 3, 4. So port number 48 is over here. So I'm logging to the serial port. Now you can see my ender. If it's a new switch, it will ask you to configure a console password. I'm configuring the console password. So now you can see we are in the user view. We have to go to the system view. You press system. Then now we are in the system view. To upload the configuration file, we need to access the this switch FTP server. So we have to configure the FTP server on this switch. Then only we are able to upload the file to the switch flash so I have the configuration I make a configuration over here for the uh, FTP access so this is the configuration we create a user and the FTP directory is flash and the service type is FTP create a VLAN VLAN interface then uh, we assign the port number 48 to that VLAN and we enable the FTP server and the source interface is VLAN 10. So we have to uh, copy this configuration and paste it in the switch. So I will just copy and paste it in the console. Now you can see the interface which I configured is not active. When you, when you paste the configuration, you can see that it will become active. So we are able to reach the VLAN interface from my PC. Now you can see uh, we already finished the configuration and we are able to reach the VLAN interface in the switch. So we will open a NCP client. Okay. Okay. You can see this is the configuration. This is my IP address. I create the user and password. I click login. Now it is connected to the switch flash. So I need to upload the backup configuration to the switch flash. So you can see here I have the configuration file over here. In my case now this is the 26 switch. So I just want to edit this file to upload it. I need to edit this file to upload it. So I will open this file to the notepad. Then I am changing the system name to 26. Then I will change the interface IP, management IP to 26. So I just save the file. I save the file. Now you can see the basic configuration file is updated. Then I will upload this one to the switch flash. It's uploaded to the root directory. Now you can see the basic configuration file is available in the switch flash. So now you can minimize this uh, witness CP. 
then you can exit from the system view to user view and we have to change the boot now so I already copy the configuration here you can just copy the same configuration startup saved configuration and the file name so we just paste that command over here in the console and enter so the uh, command is succeeded now we need to reboot the switch just confirm it now it's rebooting so it will take some time the switch is still booting now you can see press enter to get started now you can see that before it was giving me Huawei now you can see the banner and it's asking me for the console password so now you can see it's all come up and I will be able to reach my network once it's all the enterprise is up yeah so as I mentioned before this is the first time I'm working with Huawei there will be many options to do the same thanks for watching have a nice day